Okay. Now your rod and reel adapter comes with a cap already on there to secure your reel. You just push down the latch, slide the rod adapter off, the arrow goes to the tip of your fly rod, that goes right where your reel would go. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to just use any number two Phillips screwdriver, take the cap off. So the hole is going to go right on your chest. So you want to figure out, that's the back. You want to figure out which way you're going to reel. If you're reeling left hand, like I am, I just figure out which way I want to reel, put the back of the reel in there, and then I secure it with a cap. Now, all reels are supposed to have an industry standard size for a reel foot. Um, there are some that, that are thicker, um, Hatch and some Akuma reels are a little thicker, and that's where you have this, this bigger cap here you can use with those reels, those Hatch and Akuma reels. Uh, most other reels, you're going to use the, the cap that came on your Rex Fly. You just put that on there and then just tighten it down. Now you don't need to uh, go super tight here and be careful. Try not, to, try not to strip it as you put it on, but if you do, we'll, we'll go ahead and send you a new part. And just make it sure it's, it's snug each time you use it. There you go. If there's a little bit of gap, that's not a problem. A uh, little gap won't hurt you there. Or you can try the bigger, the bigger cap as well. There are a couple reels, uh, actually some of your bigger saltwater reels that have a little bit shorter of a foot and that's where you can use these rubber dots as a shim to, uh, to put on there and that'll just tighten it right up to take out any wobble. Okay. Now, see when your reels on your rod, on your chest, it's locked on there and whenever you slide the rod on, unlocks it so you can take it off quick. Now with your, with your reel, attached onto the reel adapter, you slide that on, locks in place. Whenever you reattach the rod, it's going to unlock it so it comes right off. So when you're using this as a rod holder, you'll find it's not locked on, but gravity will hold it on just fine. Now to, to take off your rod, the best thing to do is hold the reel and you just push down gently with your thumb, you don't have to push very hard, and then you just slide the reel off. Slide your rod off. I'll show you again. Clicks on, you push down this way, and you just slide your rod off. And that's one moving part. That's it. All right, today I'm going to. Sh uh, I'm doing this video so I can show you how you can uh, switch the Rex Fly Flash Pack combo from right hand to left hand. It comes shipped right hand, or and also how you can use the chest pack kit to convert your own chest pack to be able to use the Rex Fly uh, casting system. So your your kit's going to come with. A chest plate like this with straps that are sewn on the long axis, as well as an extra plate that uh, doesn't have any straps on it. So what we do is we are inserting this plate inside your pack, and then we're going to bolt your your plate with the straps on it onto this one using the two widest holes. They'll line up with, with these hexagons so that you can adjust it where you want it and bolt those on using these uh, 632 machine screws, flathead and these nylon lock nuts with a 5 16 wrench and just your Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to show you how to add the Rex Fly to a chest pack um, or if you want to or if you've got the chest pack combo and you want to switch it from the right side to the left side how you would do that. So we have the, the chest pack conversion kit comes with uh, the harness like this and an extra plate that you're going to stick inside your pack. So first you need to figure out where you want your Rex Fly to go. Now you're going to use these two holes that are perpendicular to the other six holes on the plate. So you can see that. They're perpendicular. These are, these are where you're going to mount your arm. So now, when I want to, if I'm, if I'm switching the Rex Fly from right to left and the arm's already attached, I can't just flip this upside down because now the arm will be upside down. So what you're going to need to do is change out the knob so the knob can go is ambidextrous. You can insert the carriage bolt from either direction. 
So now I'll, I'll switch it around. So now it's coming in from this side and going through there and switch the knob over. So now the knob's on whichever side you need to have for your pack. It's actually going to come with the knob on the right side uh, because most people are right-handed. Right, and then I'm going to go figure out where I want my chest plate to go. Um, the Rex Fly is going to work better if you use the, the chest strap that comes on a conversion kit as opposed to the original um, chest straps on your pack. Uh, just It's going to be tighter on. It's going to actually work better if you use uh, these straps. But you're certainly welcome to use the, the, the straps that came with your pack if that's, if that's what you prefer. Now, I'm going to line it up where I want it. I want to leave enough room on the side here for my reel arm and my reel to have a little bit of clearance there. So you would figure out where you want it and you would use these four holes here. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the two holes on the outside to line, line up where you want it to go and mark it and then take a hot soldering iron and burn holes for your pack. Now, now the flask pack has this nice pocket on the back, works perfect for this. I, I insert my extra plate in there when I do the, do the melting just so I don't burn too far through the pack. So now that I've got my holes burned in there, I'm going to insert this plate. I like to insert it with the Rexfly label down. And you can see it's just, it's just going to fit just like this. Your outside holes here are going to line up with the hexagon. You can slide it up and down and, and just mount it where you want it in your plate, in your chest harness. Just going to put that on there. I'm going to go ahead now and see which holes I want. Now I do recommend not putting it too down low. It's just hard, harder to hold these, uh, these nuts on when you're screwing it back together. 5 sixteenths wrench. Just gonna hold that, hold those down. Tighten that up. Secure on there. Just play it straight up and down. Okay, there you go. Now that's secured on there. 